I took the floor. Good. You, you, you <laughs> literally want to dislike your opponent. And now the Lakers starting group. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. JaVale McGee is out there with Davis, and it's Bradley in at the point. And for Golden State, Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Wiggins is out there with Draymond Green, and it's Chris in at the five. Well, how can you not love the continued resurgence of JaVale McGee? There were some years where he was trying to figure it out. Now he's a big factor for this team at center. You know, Smitty, the change for McGee is pretty simple. He got some direction on how to play. Now he does everything he can to play within himself. Kevin, that has been a huge difference maker for JaVale McGee. And you know when he's focused, he can make an impact. Plays in short bursts, but very effective. And so he makes both from the line. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Wiggins kicks to Green. Down low, looking for Chris. He gets it there. He doesn't hit that one. Oh, and, and that would have been a spectacular alley -oop. Really difficult to get the timing right on those long ones. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Thompson outside. Here's Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Stephen Curry's catch-and-shoot jump shot is one of the quickest in the league. Now here's LeBron and the pass to Davis. Back to James. Second shot opportunity and the rejection by Curry. 156 left to play in the first. Riggins outside. Back to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it fast. 149 left to play in the first quarter. And a deep three from Curry. Can't connect from long distance. I I'm honestly not sure what that was about. Maybe a protest against his coach? Or is he actually insane enough to think that he might be able to make that? Either way, we might see him sitting by himself for a while. Offensive rebound. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. The Warriors took a big chance on trading for Wiggins. The Wolves were so desperate to get rid of his contract, they added a top three protected first round pick into the package. First one falls for him. And the Warriors, in their own right, got rid of D'Angelo Russell's huge contract, but the deal was also about fit. It was, G.A. At the time, they were looking for a small forward, and Andrew Wiggins put them in the mind of a Harrison Barnes. He's more athletic, though. And then for the Wolves, D'Angelo Russell was a guy they needed in the backcourt. Interesting to see how both these guys' careers end up. Yeah, and Superman taking flight to the lob finish. Curry finds Thompson. Back to Curry. And here is Green for Davis. And all around him in that time before dropping in. 52 seconds left to play here in the first. Jacks up a three. A shot missing. The Warriors go the other way. Wiggins dishes to Kirk. Pass to Chris over Howard. That's good from Chris on the assist by Kirk. The advantage of having a point guard you can trust. Steph Curry has one thing in mind. How can we score? Rondo wide open. Off target from three-point range. The Warriors lead it. Inside. Out to Thompson. The three. Sinks the triple. A tough play to defend. Clay gets rid of the ball as quickly as anyone. Rondo passes to Davis. And the wide open shot from Green. And the Lakers with another miss. And so the first quarter is in the books. Warriors lead by five. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. So Greg is here. Oh, my wife. 
find out. Looks like he's got a good team, both at home and right here in front of us. Steph has already put up a Hall of Fame career, but you can tell he doesn't feel anywhere near being done. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? You could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Rondo and Caldwell Pope in the backcourt. Anthony Davis is out there with Kyle Kuzma, and it's Howard in at the five down low. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. Now here's Rondo. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Anthony Davis. Curry kicks to Chris. Wiggins outside. Green dishes to Wiggins. Green's the three-pointer. Wiggins has got the lead up to eight now for the Warriors. And those rebounding numbers, GA, just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. Yes, but you can't teach hard and you can't teach instinct. And he has both. Here's Chris following the basket by Anthony Davis. Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from Long Range. Lakers trail by nine. Rondo standing the floor. And it's Marquise Chris with a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Thompson outside. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. One twenty-nine left to play here in the second quarter. Caruso, the pass to Howard. Left side, Davis. Goes up the baseline. That one wide left. Warriors leading by nine. Green finds Chris. Outside, Curry. Higgins outside. Green passes to Curry. Over Caldwell Pope. Golden State moving it around. Five on the clock. Shots good by Green. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Pass to Davis. That one falls. Davis has got six. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Warriors have got a nice three to three to start the second. Curry deciding where to go with it. And you just got to love Steph's passion for the game. Even his pregame workout has gone to the GA, let me give you this little story. One time in high school, he got so pumped before a game, he actually hurt himself. He jumped up, hit his forehead, and had to get stitches. The man just loves to play, and he loves this game. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, James comes in for Dwight Howard. And it's green in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Who's back? And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. I like what Kuzma brings to this offense. He's an excellent jump shooter with size to make plays at the rim. And both free throws good for Kuzma. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. Curry passes to Thompson. Begins with the bounce pass. Outside Curry. On the wing, Green. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. 
Looking for Chris. He gets it there. Count it. Chris has got his second buzzer. You love Curry's command of this offense. The ability to pass with either hand. Loads it up for Davis. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting on there. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. And so it's... All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. And it's highest. They've been topped out at... And that's... that it's threatening to be. Curry has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Curry and Clay with a splash brother in the backcourt. Green is up there with Chris, and it's Wiggins in a three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for Golden State. And here's McGee. After the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Three on three from 17 feet out. And the big shot is good. Curry's got five points now this quarter. The awareness from Steph Curry. Protect the ball around him or he'll get you. Pass to McGee. And he did it there too much force it looked like on the foul and he's called for the flagrants and, and kevin i gotta tell you he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there i mean so much contact the officials easily could have gone even harder on it greg i agree he better be on his best behavior from now on one more flagrant of any variety and he's out of here Greg, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the, in the 70s? Isn't that a, a weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know. But, you know, I, I think, Kev, yeah, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. Uh, it creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays, there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so live sports, uh, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about, man, I, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. Uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in the team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. Curry with the bounce pass. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Chris has got six. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. And drafted eighth overall back in 2016. Chris played with four different teams in his first four years. He came into this league, GA, with a raw skill set. Now they define roles, but the physical ability, we know it's there. He's still very young and still has a lot of room to go. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Mike Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Contavious Caldwell Pope comes in for Green. Marjan Rondo subbed in for Bradley. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, we know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament to get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. To the inside. Wiggins passes to Green over Davis. And it's Green missing. Lakers trail by 16. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's in there. Davis with the assist. They are just killing them on the interior. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And the basket by Kirk. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. 
the drive by James. And what do you do with LeBron on the loose and coming at you full speed? All you can do is foul him. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for LeBron. Here's Curry. Morris with the block. And now, here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. And so it's the Golden State Warriors sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. We come back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Marky Boris is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Anthony Davis. It's Rajon Rondo. And it's Caruso in at the shooting guard position. Taking the contact, almost using it to his advantage. Clay able to convert. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul. And the Lakers with some changes. Danny Green, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. And Bradley's subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Here is Davis. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists now in this one. Wow, that's a tough shot, but Steph has the confidence to take that. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's foul. number two for him and the Lakers making a change here Kuzma's checked in Bradley finds Kuzma and there's the call on Curry and that'll be his third foul so far your son Cole Craig was one of the top high school players in America a lot of services had him number one talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad you know, it was it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top notch. So that process about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. One forty-six left in the fourth quarter. And they pick up two. Curry's got 13 points here in the second half alone. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time. Oh. Oh. Respect LeBron showing the artistry that other players could only dream of. Warriors leading by 18. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Warriors. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Steph Curry. You love to see this kind of leadership, directing traffic, keeping everyone happy. He was the straw that stirred the drink. From deep, James, and again, LeBron missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. It's stolen by Bradley. Oh, that's what? They recover it. Green passes to Bradley. And a miss there on the triple. 
So it's the Warriors now. And here is Curry. It's stolen by Bradley. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. McGee dishes to Green. Bradley, no one around him. And again, no good by the Lakers. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. And, and it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Cook looking it over. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Andrew, an impressive win for you guys. How will you look back on tonight? Uh, it feels great, you know, and uh, I think the whole team played great. You know, we shared the ball, uh, we grabbed rebounds, we made big possessions, you know, so I think it was a great game. Hey, Andrew, congrats again. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, boys. For Greg and Jay, Steve Smith and David Olney, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.